Hi, Joel and Dave here. In today's discussion, or this discussion of this video, is Javadoc. And Javadoc is critical. We need to all develop professional habits, habits so that coming out of college, we're generating the same type of documentation as the rest of the professional world is. And Javadoc is a framework that allows us, if we provide Javadoc comments, to have documentation that resembles that provided by the Oracle and Sun libraries. Again, we'd like everybody to develop using the same style so it looks like everything was developed by a single person. And the easiest way to learn a good style is to mimic, mimic, mimic. Let's follow that style that we see in the Javadoc Oracle Sun libraries. Today we'll go through generating the Javadoc for an Eclipse project archive that I put under Google Docs with this link shown here. Now Java doc, documentation is critical. It's the only way that we can easily find out how to call the methods of different classes. For example, scanner, J option pane, string, etc. And all the Java doc for the Oracle Sun libraries is online. It can be easily accessible through either of these links that I show here. Many experts state that the first thing you should do before you even write your method is to write the Java doc. That will allow you to consider the users of your code. And when you put together an example to show how your code's being used, you might find that it's awkward or come up with some changes that would make your code smoother. It is a contract with users of your code saying that if they call you with these preconditions that you will guarantee certain post conditions from running your code. It also allows a separate test group to go out and start writing test cases while you're writing your code and quickly merge the test cases uh, with your code to verify that things work as advertised. Javadoc how to write Javadoc is well documented. You can easily Google on this Oracle slash Sun how to write doc comments for the Javadoc tool manual. And there's also a lot of Javadoc references online. Now, at Elon, for our Java courses, we have certain requirements. A file header, that's a non-Javadoc comment with the copyright saying you are the original and complete developer uh, this piece of code must be at the top of every Java file. All public classes, public constructors, public methods, and public fields need to be Java docked. If it's a public class, it has to start with the description, followed by author tags in chronological order, followed by the version tag. If it's a public constructor, again, it starts with the description, followed with param tags in the order that each argument is called in the method the constructor method. And if you have any exceptions, any checked exceptions that you throw, you either have to use the throws tag or the exception tag. They're aliases for each other. Public methods, description, params, again, in the same order that they're declared and used. If, it, if it's not a void method, what it returns, and if it has any checked exceptions, it throws an exception tag. If there are multiple exceptions, they should be listed in alphabetical order. So here's a simple example of Javadoc for the Java Standard Edition version 7. All classes are listed in alphabetical order. Here I clicked on String Tokenizer. It's in the Java.util package. And the full Javadoc for this particular class is displayed. Now a nice thing about all these tags is I can then click on a hyperlink to look at the summary description or detailed descriptions. Let's say I want to look at the constructor summary. If I clicked on that, all the constructors for string tokenizer, and it appears to be three, are listed along with the summary string describing what it does. If I want more detailed information, I can click on the hyperlink and it brings me to the full detailed description. Describes the complete signature of the constructor. Full description. 
Now, the first line of the description is important in how you write it because it is extracted. It becomes this summary line uh, in, in the summary constructors. If I go back, we will see that the, the summary had this one line. Okay, that's the line. Uh, the parameters are in the same order they are in the method. In this case, it throws a null pointer exception. Now, going back up to the top of the string tokenizer class, I want to once again state that I can look at the summary of the fields, the constructors, or the methods by clicking on these hyperlinks. Or I can look at the details by clicking on the detailed hyperlinks. Just as we had a constructor summary, there's a method summary with the first line coming from the details, the detailed documentation. If I want to see the detailed documentation, I can just click on the hyperlinks and I can see the detailed doc documentation for the hyperlink that I clicked on. Now I find it helpful if you read through the different documentation for different methods, you'll get a feel for the style so you can write your Java doc similar to Oracle slash Sun. Now in the Oracle write-up of their documentation standards and conventions, they gave an example of the get image method. And they show the Java doc starting off with a description. Notice how it starts with the slash asterisk asterisk and it ends with a single asterisk slash. Starts off the description followed by tags. That's important. You can't have tags followed by description. After the description, they have a blank line and then the tags start. And typically the tags start with parameters followed by the return followed by exceptions. If this Java doc got processed by the Java doc program, it would be nicely formatted as shown in this HTML page. Okay, let's go to Eclipse. Let's look at how to generate Java doc in terms of generate it into HTML. Then we'll look at what Eclipse can do to help us generate it efficiently to put it into our code. So here is Eclipse. And I loaded that Pez Java doc exercise project archive that I gave you a link to earlier. And here I have the Pez Candy code being displayed. Top of the file starts off with the copyright. And I've got Java doc before my constructors, before my methods, etc. And I want to generate the Java doc, the HTML Java doc. So what I do is I go to project. And I say generate Java doc. That's simple enough. And the key thing at the top is this Java doc command. It has to be a JDK. It cannot be a JRE. A JDK comes with some additional utilities, one of which is Java doc. I want to generate Java doc for public. And I'm going to have it go to the docs folder. A lot of times you'll see it come up as a default of doc, but it seems that a lot of people in the field have chosen docs as the, as the standard extension for where to put it. I'll click Next. For a title, I want to have my HTML title be Pez Documentation Practice. Everything else pretty much defaults. Next. Nothing to change there. I click Finish. And we can see in my console window that I quickly generate a lot of HTML files for my Java doc. And over here in my package explorer, it actually created a docs folder. Now if I want to go out and, and look at this Java doc, I can do it in a couple different ways. I can open up a browser by selecting the project in the package explorer and then go into the navigate window. I could just select the project and hit Shift F2, or I could go out to the file system and just double click on the index.html file. Within Eclipse, I can bring up a special view to look at Java doc, or I can just hover over it. So let's look first look at calling navigate. Now before doing that, I need to make sure under my preferences that I specify under general web browser 
that I want an external web browser to come up, in particular Firefox. You don't have to do this. You could add Chrome, Safari, uh, by adding new here. You could click IE, or you could have the browser come up actually in the editor window. But I want Firefox to come up. So I've got that applied. Okay. So under Navigate, I come down to Open Attached Java Doc, and automatically Firefox is displayed with my Pez Candy formatted in HTML. Now look how my HTML looks just like the professional Sun Oracle libraries. I got my class, I got summary links, detailed links, I can look at my detailed constructor fields, etc. Now within Eclipse, I can ask to see a Java doc view. So window, show view, I select Java doc. And down here in the console window, I get a Java doc view. And I can come down and select any method, oh, say Pez Candy, and you see the Java doc for that particular method get displayed. I can also just hover. Let me get rid of this. I can just hover over a class, say the equals class. And as I hover over it, the Java doc will automatically come up in Eclipse for me to look at. Very sweet. Again, tags are mandatory at Elon, file header tag with copyright information on top of every Java source file, every public class, public field, public constructor, and public method needs to have Java doc in the format specified. Now Eclipse has got some preferences that can help us create the Java doc. Uh, it allows us to specify some templates, uh, some special keystrokes that will automatically generate the Java doc from the code and also help us to format things. So let's take, take a quick look at some of those preferences and, and how we can set those. Probably the biggest one is down under Java code style. Under code templates, I've defined templates so that every time I create a new file, it automatically sticks this template at the top of the file, substituting in the variable for file name and the date. Every time I create a new class, I've created this template so it sticks up the blur models dot 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 along with my name as the author, version, and any other tags that I might have. I've also done this for methods. So when I generate a method, it reminds me that methods should start off with a verb description and all tags for that method, be them parameter tags, exception tags, return tags, are automatically generated. Uh, code Assist. When I'm inside Eclipse Editor, if I type slash asterisk asterisk and hit return, it will automatically look at the method or class below it and generate the Java doc for that method. While I'm typing in Java doc, if I hit the at sign, it will show me editor type completion of what kind of tags are available for me to use to place into my Java doc. While I'm editing my document, I can hit Control A to select the entire document and then hit Control Shift Format and my Java doc will automatically be formatted based on any particular style or, or format that I, have, that I have given it. So I'd like to show you one more thing now. Under Preferences, under Compiler for Java doc, I have changed the defaults from ignore to warning. So that if I have malformed Java doc comments, missing Java doc tags, or missing Java doc comments, the compiler will automatically give me a warning so that I can have my Java doc evolve as I develop my code. Okay, so a lot of nice features on Java doc. Jump in, experiment with it. 
it is a requirement that we all program as one in a prof professional manner here at Elon. So JavaDoc is required. Uh, develop those habits now to become a professional. Thank you.